Hey, what's up? You're back again. This is another motivational video. And uh, I'm glad that you came back. I really appreciate the feedback. I appreciate uh, those hitting me up and, and things like that as I get ready to get back into making more content. I figure a good way to at least stay loose and stay in the movement of making content is making content um, because most content that I do takes a little bit of a planning and all that stuff and all that stuff and I'm not waiting for the perfect opportunity to make the video I'm just gonna make the video and this is another video talking about manage your expectations <clears throat> manage your expectations right so let me know if this this is something that you can relate to you know I, I here's a statement and I'm gonna try to put it this way um, I'm not going to get my hopes up because I don't want to feel let down right and this is something I've wrestled with myself I had friends wrestle with this and this all comes from an expectation because the reason we say that is so we don't feel so bad because we're like all right it we don't think it's going to work out so when it doesn't work out um, I won't feel the disappointment that I would feel like how I did in the past when I really got emotionally invested in an opportunity or a situation or something that I really wanted to go in my favor and that pain of it not working, the, the pain of it falling apart. And in that, you know, you, you develop this, this coping mechanism, as they say, a, a way to cope with that. You de develop a way to cope with the fact or the reality that things may not go the way you planned. So what you do is you try to manage your expectations and not expect as much as you think you should or you expect it not to work out or I'm not going to get my hopes up and I would advise and this is for myself I would advise to let's see if we can manage our expectations a little bit differently because yes at this point in your life you probably have enough experience to know that things don't always go your way things can change things can happen but I think that what you expect or what you believe affects how you move, right? So if you haven't finished that project, there's something in there, and I can't tell you exactly where, but there's something in there that you believe that makes you not want to go or, or not make that project or create that thing. There's something there. But if you expect it better, you know, then maybe you might move a little differently and like here's kind of the example of that so you know there's a situation where i'm dealing with a vehicle right and i'm going to say you know i'm gonna take to the shop and i hope you know i think they're gonna get it together and you know it might work out and you know everything will be straight you know and and you know that's that's but you're still thinking that it's not going to work out so therefore you don't walk with that same energy like say if you know like if you're going to a concert and like imagine you you bought janet tickets right and you paid 200 dollars for those tickets right because those janet prices are off the chain right you paid 200 dollars. so when you buy that ticket you have an expectation to see the show so you know you're going to get dressed you're going to get up you're going to get yourself together early enough you're going to know how to deal with traffic because you know that when you get to that gate because you got that ticket you're going to get into the show and you're going to get that seat that you pay for because i paid this money for this ticket it says i sit here and this show starts at this time so i'm going to leave her at this time and see now you're moving with an expectation to get to where you want to get to now trust me if you didn't have the ticket then you wouldn't be moving with the same energy you might show up to the show late because you might not get in the door and I think a good tool to use is to describe things working out in a positive way instead of a maybe way. And I'm very guilty of that. And I'm like, you know what? I've been there and done that. I've been there where I'll speak in a way that kind of allows me to kind of get away with it not working out or to get away with it not panning out in my favor. And I think that something new to try is all right i'm going to send this track out and it will get placed i am going to i'm going to go to the shop and get my car fixed the mechanic's going to do a great job everything's going to be back good the car's going to be running back to normal I'm going to be all set 
I'm going to make this beat and I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to add it to my catalog because one day another artist may like it and write to it and you never know what could happen with this. I'm going to write this song and someone out there is going to relate to it and they're going to get back to me. They're going to enjoy it. If we say these things out loud and we think this way, I think it changes the energy in which we move with what we're doing. I think it changes the energy in how we see ourselves because it's almost like we're like writing our own story with the way we think that the outcome is going to go. And if we write the story always in a negative way, then we paint ourselves in a negative light and then we're less motivated or less willing to do what we need to do. And uh, I think that, like I said, we all know reality happens, but what, what if we try to describe our reality in the most positive, optimistic way ahead of time right instead of kind of this mm, like for instance you know dealing with content being a youtube creator and you know these videos don't go very far right they don't go very far and because of my expectation of that of not going far then i'm not so willing to make the content so then i don't make the content and if i think that and i don't make the content then the person that who would benefit from this video misses out on a benefit simply from my expectation of it not going that far or not hitting the algorithm or anything like that, right? So we deal with that that sort of situation where we miss out on things based on our expectations, right? We don't put ourselves out there or go for the competition or go to the music event or upload our music to a certain platform because our expectations, I don't want somebody to steal it. Okay, you really that hot? That you worry about somebody stealing your song? You really... You're really that famous? I look at it this way. Somebody tries to steal my song. Awesome. That shows me that I've reached you. And the way tools are set up now, you can thumbprint all your content and get credit for it anyway. It's, it's all, that's why I can't cover. That's why I can't straight up sample when I do remakes. You know? So try to manage your expectations in a different light. Like for me, I expect somebody to benefit from this. Now, if I didn't think somebody would benefit from this, I probably won't have the same energy of making this video or I probably wouldn't even put it out. Right. So if I could advise anything, let's expect better and let's describe how it's going to play out in the most positive light possible. We know that the reality is we know the fact is we don't know what can happen. We know that things don't always play out. But in the meantime, if we could just retune our expectations, right? This channel will grow. This song will get streams. I'm going to learn how to market my music to get more streams. I'm going to learn. I'm going to study a course, right? There, 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 there are ways to do this. There are tools. You really make that sacrifice. This, this ticket may cost me this much money to go to this event, right? And uh, I'll close with this. So I bought this uh, ticket to go to an event and... Um, there was a person there who I met who who made it. They they they've done good stuff and they made it right. And you know I was thinking that maybe that person would know me or remember me um, when I finally see them in public. But the the truth was was that uh, when I finally saw them, they didn't know who I was and all that stuff. And the reality is is that just because maybe they took a track and it made it got placed, I don't know, whatever doesn't necessarily mean they know me or owe me anything right and in that same situation it's disappointing because i feel like well hey you know i've had some kind of an impact you know i think that people should know who i am just a little bit but that's not necessarily the case you know you never know who who knows your or doesn't know you. so yeah i did that with disappointment but sometimes those disappointments are just tools to point you redirect you right and it lets me know, like, okay, I see. And now I know and I've seen for myself. And that's another thing. We got to see for ourselves some of these situations, with how, who we work with, uh, the endeavors we go to. Yes, you know, we like to learn about what we want to get to and watch these videos, get as much information as we can. But sometimes you just got to go see for yourself. Go see for yourself, right? And I think you get more experience and more wisdom in that than basing everything on everyone else's opinion right so 
Manage your expectations. I'm Dilio. You're watching the Dilio TTK YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this has impacted you in any way. I'll be back again next Monday doing another video like this. And we're going to have fun and all that stuff. And, and we're going to grow this channel to 100K this year. All right. Peace out.